学生青年站出来，我们都挺侯友谊。These activists are young, politically aware, and enthusiastic, but they're outliers among their peers. They support Taiwan's main opposition party, the Kuomintang or KMT, but this demographic has been dwindling over the last six months. Ahead of Taiwan's presidential elections next year, they're trying to revive support for the party's candidate among young voters. So we all stand up, unite the Taiwan youth, 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 That's while ruling Democratic Progressive Party candidate Lai Qingde's polling numbers have remained relatively stable, and support for third-party candidate Ko Wenzhe of the Taiwan People's Party has leapt by around 35 percent. The China-friendly KMT governed Taiwan under authoritarian rule for over 50 years. It has historically found a strong support base in the older generations. And until late last year, younger voter support for the party was on the rise. But now, many of them are turning against Ho, who is also the mayor of New Taipei City. If only 400,000 people in Taipei are not able to live in Taipei, I ask you, how do you convince the people to manage a country? I think your question is repeated. The KMT is working to reverse this trend, but some analysts say that despite these efforts, support from the younger demographic isn't as consequential as the party might hope. Being a much smaller demographic, numerically, they're not the most important demographic. 30 to 39 is a bit more、uh, important because they do tend to show out in somewhat better numbers, and it also is a slightly bigger demographic. While young KMT supporters are a political minority, they're optimistic their efforts will convince more people to support their cause. 也希望可以让这个台湾的年轻人可以真的看到国民党的改变，然后愿意来尝试来体验看国民党的论述跟我们的想法。There are about six months left before the presidential election, but as poll numbers continue to fluctuate, it's impossible to predict how things might change before voting day. The KMT's plan to drum up support among Taiwan's younger voters is still in its early stages, so it may be some time before these efforts reach maturity. Andy Xue and Sally Yensen for Taiwan Plus.